Deep in the Alaskan wilderness, shrouded in mystery and intrigue, lies HARP. This is no ordinary research facility. HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The name itself hints at its powerful capabilities. HARP's remote location near Gakona, Alaska, only adds to its mystique. The facility is dominated by a vast array of antennas. These antennas, reaching skyward, are designed to transmit high-frequency radio waves. The purpose? To study the Earth's ionosphere, a dynamic region of the upper atmosphere. But some believe HARP's true purpose is far more sinister. Could this be a secret weapon? A tool for controlling the weather or even our minds? We are here to investigate. Let's separate fact from fiction and uncover the truth behind HARP. The ionosphere is a critical layer of Earth's atmosphere. It plays a vital role in radio communications. HARP's primary mission is to study this important region. Scientists use HARP to transmit focused beams of radio waves into the ionosphere. These waves interact with charged particles, creating temporary disturbances. Researchers then analyze these disturbances to learn more about the ionosphere's behavior. This research has practical applications. Understanding the ionosphere can improve radio communication and navigation systems. It can also help us predict space weather events that could disrupt our technology. HARP's scientific goals are well documented. The facility is open to researchers from around the world, yet despite this transparency, conspiracy theories persist. HARP is a costly endeavor. It requires significant funding to operate. The facility was initially funded by the US military, specifically the Air Force and Navy. This military involvement has fueled suspicion among conspiracy theorists. They see it as evidence of a hidden agenda. However, the military's interest in HARP stems from the ionosphere's importance in communication and surveillance. Over the years, funding for HARP has shifted. The University of Alaska Fairbanks now operates the facility. This transition to civilian control demonstrates a commitment to transparency. HARP is subject to scrutiny from various scientific and governmental bodies. Its research undergoes peer review. The facility is also regularly inspected to ensure compliance with environmental regulations. Despite its scientific mission, HARP has become a lightning rod for conspiracy theories. These theories range from the outlandish to the downright bizarre. One of the most persistent claims is that HARP can control the weather. Conspiracy theorists point to the facility's ability to manipulate the ionosphere. They believe this can trigger earthquakes, hurricanes and other natural disasters. Another theory suggests that HARP is a mind control weapon. They claim that the facility's radio waves can manipulate brain waves, influencing thoughts and emotions. These theories have gained traction in popular culture. Books, documentaries and websites dedicated to exposing HARP's alleged dark side have proliferated. But how much truth is there to these claims? The anti-HARP movement has gained momentum thanks to several key figures. One such figure is Nick Begich Jr., son of a former U.S. congressman. Begich co-authored the book Angels Don't Play This Harp, popularizing many conspiracy theories. He claims harp is a dangerous weapon capable of widespread destruction. Another voice is Rosalie Bertel, an environmental activist and nun. Bertel believed HARP was part of a military agenda to control the environment. She argued the facility's radio waves could have catastrophic consequences. These individuals have created a climate of fear and distrust around HARP. The conspiracy theories surrounding HARP are not supported by scientific evidence. Experts in atmospheric science and radio wave technology have repeatedly debunked these claims. Firstly, the notion that HARP can control the weather is simply not plausible. 
While the facility can create small-scale disturbances in the ionosphere, these effects are minuscule compared to the forces of nature that drive weather patterns. Secondly, there is no scientific basis for the claim that HARP can manipulate human minds. The radio waves used by the facility are non-ionizing and operate at frequencies far too low to affect brain activity. Furthermore, HARP's transmissions are not powerful enough to reach the Earth's surface with any significant intensity. The facility's primary focus is on the ionosphere, which is located high above the ground. The HARP conspiracy theories highlight the need for critical thinking in the age of information overload. Approach such claims with scepticism. Demand evidence-based arguments. Rely on credible sources like scientific journals and experts. The scientific consensus on HARP is clear. It's a research tool for studying the Earth's ionosphere. No credible evidence supports claims of weather control or mind manipulation. Separate fact from fiction. Embrace critical thinking to avoid baseless conspiracy theories and make informed decisions.